and new this afternoon, FedEx Field is no more. The shipping company has officially ended its naming rights at the Washington Commander Stadium in Landover. DC News Now's Randy Bass is live this afternoon at the stadium. Randy, we can't even call it FedEx Field anymore. So what are we learning right now? Yeah, Tosin, right now the sign stays up for at least a little while, but probably not for much longer here in Landover. Both the team and the shipping company confirming to DC News Now today that FedEx is dropping its stadium naming rights here in Landover. FedEx was able to opt out early from its stadium naming rights agreement after the team was sold last year. The commander's organization telling us this afternoon they're already looking for a new naming rights partner heading into next season. The team also announced just last night another $35 million in upgrades here at the stadium. The commanders also said they're exploring options for the team's future home. This comes as lawmakers a few miles away in D.C. today are set to vote on the future of RFK Stadium. That's the old home of Washington football. FedEx at a statement today told us they're pulling their naming rights here in Landover as they focus on their broader NFL sponsorship and opportunities that reflect their global footprint. The stadium name change comes amid another big off season of changes for the commanders. You've got a new GM and Adam Peters, a new head coach in Dan Quinn, and in just a couple of weeks, a number two draft pick heading the team's way. So again, a lot happening here at FedEx Field and around the commanders organization. This story is still very much developing. We'll bring you new details as we get them. Live in Landover, I'm Brady Bass, DC News Now.